the Nexus Duo endovascular aortic arch graft system. Position in place the through and through 4 meter wire from the right arm and the through and through catheter from the left arm to a single point access in the groin. Advance the delivery system over the 4 meter through and through wire and the preloaded secondary wire into the through and through catheter. Pull the delivery system in place from the 4 meter wire and keep the traction on the secondary wire from the left arm while advancing the delivery system. Wire wrapping needs to be checked at this point in the descending aorta and if necessary, rotate the system until unwrapping is achieved. Release traction on the through and through wire from the left, then continue by pulling the delivery system from the right arm into place while rotating to achieve the correct V marker position. Visually verify that the distal end of the branch is not covering the innominate bifurcation. Using fluoroscopy, gently pull down the delivery system to position the proximal branch dot marker at the innominate ostium. Reapply traction on the left arm through and through wire and start to deploy by pinning the handle and rotate it until the first two stents are deployed. Spin the release tip capture wheel until the distal end of the stent is fully opened. Continue to deploy until the first Z stent of the dock sleeve is opened and flow re-established to the innominate artery. Release traction on the through and through wire from the right arm before pushing the delivery system forward to position the dock Z stent against the outer wall of the ascending aorta. Continue to deploy until the dock is fully opened. Push the delivery system forwards a second time to align the dock position to face the ascending aorta. Finish to release the stent graft by rotating the delivery system handle until the distal end is fully opened. Ensure the delivery system tip is pulled back into the BCT branch. Hold the blue fixation tube from the arm and slowly pull out to separate from the tip. Ensure a slight traction is achieved. Keep this traction until the end of the procedure. Carefully pull down and remove completely the Nexus Duo delivery system over the through and through guide wire. From the groin access, introduce an extra stiff double curved wire until it crosses the valve and reaches the left ventricle. Advance the ascending module over the extra stiff wire until the distal B marker passes the dock ring. Pull back the ascending module to align the B marker with the dock ring. Pin the handle and rotate to deploy the first stent under normal sinus rhythm and pause. Start rapid pacing and continue to deploy until it's completed. Spin the tip capture release wheel to release proximally and distally before phasing down rapid pacing. Completely remove the delivery system from the extra stiff wire. Advance a PTA balloon over the through and through wire until half length is inside the branch. Advance an aortic balloon over the extra stiff wire until half length passes the dock ring. Inflate the PTA balloon and start rapid pacing. Inflate the aortic balloon. Deflate the aortic balloon and phase down rapid pacing. Deflate the PTA balloon and remove both balloons. Advance the bridging stent over the left arm through and through wire to its position. Ensure the bridging stent is aligned one centimeter distally outside the inner branch and deploy. Remove bridging stent balloon from the through and through wire. Close the suture out of the blue fixation tube. Cut one side of the suture below the knot and pull both the suture and the blue fixation tube from the right arm access sheath to remove it completely from the graft. An angiocatheter is advanced to the ascending aorta and a completion angiogram is performed to confirm pathology exclusion and graft patency.